Golf. Uh, yes, indeed. If everyone's I ready. I'm the only one. Y- yes, you are actually only broadcast today. It's very nice to see you again. Thank you. How do things... I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> How do things stand with Jeff Shook? Is he going to mm, be available for no. the weekend? No, we've been a little bit unlucky this, this latter period. It started with with Mamadou, then we lost James, and now we've lost Jeff, which is, of course, three big blows for us. There's no question of that. He won't play again this season. Uh, the, the ankle injury is such that it's going to take the three or so weeks that we, we have left. So the rest of the season we'll be playing without those three. Fortunately, we don't have quite so many other injuries to, to deal with, but we are getting down to the bare bones now. But I guess we're not alone in that respect. It's late in the season, teams teams do get depleted, and uh, we're, we're no exception. Presumably, though, you can't afford any more. Well, no, it, the worst thing with these things always happens that it's, it's players in the same positions, isn't it? You know, so... Yes, we are. We are certainly stretched at the moment in our in our defensive positions. Um, we've been depleted, of course, in midfield and up front at the moment. Fortunately, we still do have some competition, but the competition for places is is uh, mm-hmm. cert- certainly declining in in certain areas of the pitch. I want to ask you about um, Wayne Hennessy uh, with the FA releasing their written reasons in his case. Um, they said the goalkeeper showed a lamentable degree of ignorance about Hitler, fascism, and the Nazi regime. Mm. How disappointed are you in that? Well, I don't know how disappointed one should be. Really, it's difficult for people of my generation who are obviously so much closer to it. I don't quite know what the young generation is is learning about it today. Um, I think it was very important in, in that report, which I, I've read, that they made it perfectly clear too that they found Wayne uh, a, a very honest and, and kind and, and, and good individual. And I think that that's an important aspect that came out for me. And the fact that he lacks education here is something we as a club and the Kick It Out organisation with whom we work very, very closely need to take very much into consideration because maybe it's something that we haven't been quite so aware of because uh, mm-hmm. uh, obviously we are talking about a period of history which maybe isn't being dealt with today in the education programme as it once was. What, what, can, what can you do in, in terms of you know, education? Oh, oh, I think there's so many things you can do, but I, I mean, the club is very committed to it and Kick It Out are very committed to it. We and Kick It Out work very closely together, so between us, I think we'll certainly be looking for a solution in the case of this one individual, but I would guess that this might be a, a subject which goes beyond one individual. We might just here be highlighting something with Wayne that is actually rife through, throughout football. You know, we, I have no idea about the level of knowledge in relation to, to, to uh, the Holocaust and the Second World War in other clubs or even in our clubs but it's something which we now know may well exist and will have to be dealt with and together club and kick it out we'll, we'll sort it out certainly as far as Wayne's concerned because he's he's actually very desperate now to, to learn as much as he can Players today are taking part in a 24 hour social media blackout um, to protest about racist abuse online mm. um, how supportive are you of them? 100, 100%. You know, I think it's a very good initiative. You know, I, I certainly wouldn't be adverse to them continuing it or, 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 or doing even more in that regard because for me it's one of the evils of our modern day world. Um, it doesn't affect me personally as much perhaps as it should because I don't participate in social media but the fact is all of the football players that I work with and all the staff I work with they all do you know it's a very very important aspect of their lives and the fact that it's being used as it's being obviously used or abused at the moment if they can do something with their actions to bring about the necessary changes that need to be made then I don't know what 
how anybody in their right mind could be against it or how anybody in their right mind couldn't be praising them for doing it. Four matches to go, away at Arsenal this weekend. Um, how encouraged are you by your recent away form? You've won three of your last four away from home. Yeah, but um, Arsenal presenter like Man City last weekend, they present a, a very, very difficult problem for you in, in the sense that they are very, very good. They have some very, very good players and they themselves are in excellent form. So I suppose we can be happy with our three of our last four away wins resulting in victories. That, that, that's tremendous, but um, it certainly doesn't lead me to believe that it will make it any easier to go to the Emirates on Sunday and play Arsenal, especially in the form that they're in. So all we can do is prepare as we always try to prepare and to make certain that we, we go there knowing that it, we have it in us to, to get the victory, but also knowing how much of an effort and how much of a struggle and how much fighting we've got to do if we want to bring off that victory. So looking forward to the game. Um, congratulate Arsenal on, on beating Napoli, both home and away, in two excellent performance. And hoping, I suppose, that their performance against us won't be quite at that high level. What do you make of their uh, their run, particularly? I mean, this, this this home run that they've got ten Premier League wins in a row at the Emirates. Yeah, yeah, it's daunting. There's no doubt about that. But it's a daunting fixture anyway. You know when. If you're not one of that top four, five, six clubs yourself, whenever you play them either home or away, they're, they're fixtures which make you realise we've got to be absolutely at our best today. We can't afford any slip-ups, any mistakes. And you hope, of course, that their, their star players and their very, very talented individuals don't play to the top of their form either. That's what you need to do to bring about a result. What have you made of Unai Emery's first season in in English football, uh, is he making his mark now with this, this Arsenal team, do you think? Well, I commend him because he took on a very difficult job to re to take over after someone like Arsene Wenger, who'd been such an incredible figure at the club and had achieved such fantastic things with the club and been there for such a long period of time. Whoever comes in and steps into those shoes, he's filling enormous shoes and it's never going to be easy for him. But I think... He must be very, very pleased with the way things have gone there. I think that he's, he has been able to step into the shoes. He has been able to mould a team and play the football that I guess he wants the, the team to play. And it's a very successful football. So for me, like everyone else that I've heard speak, I can only commend him and congratulate him on, on, on having had such a good start to his life as a premiership manager. As far as Palace is concerned, well, 13th in the table at the moment. Um, 39 points, I'm not looking over your shoulder anymore. You're looking ahead, ahead yeah. above you. I mean, can you catch the likes of Bournemouth and, and West Ham? Well, we were above Bournemouth before the last game and we, when they won and we lost. So, the, you know, and then I, I suppose we're definitely in that ballpark. How far up we could go, I don't know. But it's got to be the ambition. It's been an ambition for quite a while. Um, <clears throat> I do have to lament the fact that, you know, to lose the three players we talked about here don't, don't ex doesn't exactly make that task easier, but it, it doesn't alter either. That, that's what we would like to do. We'd like to finish the season strongly. We were able to do it last year. We'd like to do it again. And I must say, seeing the players in training and seeing the work that they're, they're putting in, there's certainly no complacency or, or no lack of desire on our part. If we're not able to do it, it won't be because we relaxed and we didn't have the ambition to, to get some more points and climb the table. It would be quite simply because the teams we're playing have been too good for us. Yes, wish you well. Thanks, thanks. Great, thank you. That's the end of the board.